Hello, hello. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. I'm talking to you. No, I'm just talking to whoever's watching this. Just watched, uh, well, an hour ago. I watched it an hour ago. I've just been sitting here for an hour now just thinking about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Is that a reference to Across the Universe? You know, the Beatles. Who knows? Anyways, that was great. It was, it's amazing. Spectacular and amazing. <laughs> Spider-Man reference. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. I loved it. The animation was great. You know? Um, they really developed Gwen Stacy a lot in this one. Spider-Gwen, go Spider. And also Miles was a pretty developed well in this. I feel like for Miles' story, he, he's getting more of the hang of being Spider-Man. But for me, it just seems like he still doesn't understand. Under, he still hasn't got that feeling of Spider-Man, of what Spider-Man is really about. But then again, he's going through the struggles as Spider-Man of like trying to, you know, keep things on schedule like how Peter Parker was in Spider-Man. You know, he has to get on with his daily life, but also trying to save lives as Spider-Man. Yeah, but it was cool when they showed um, Spider-Gwen's origin. This is in the beginning, so I'm not sure if that's a spoiler. If it is, I'm sorry. But what I liked in her origin, though, is the the color scheme and the lighting. It really uh, matches what the comic books, what her comic books are like, you know. Spider Man 2099 was pretty, uh, I would think he, uh, he was pretty scary in this, but he was pretty cool. Miguel O'Hara. His suit, really, I mean, I feel like them, they, when they brought him in, in this, or they brought back Spider-Man 2099. I mean, no one hasn't heard from Spider-Man 2099 in such a long time. Maybe from the games. I think it was uh, Shattered Dimensions. I forgot which one. That was the last time I saw Spider-Man 2099. But it really just shows that I think there's a soft spot for that character. I think because his suit. His suit just looks really cool. But I really liked him in this, though. He was great. I don't know too much about Miguel O'Hara. I just know about his powers, but his origin story in this, I won't say anything, is pretty crazy in this one. Especially how it, what his character is there for. It's pretty cool when you get to see all the other Spider-Man too. You'll if you if you know enough Spider-Man, or if you've seen a lot of Spider-Man in your life, you're gonna catch not all of the Easter eggs, but you're gonna be looking around for the Easter eggs, like. Oh, it's that Spider-Man. Oh, it's that Spider- It's that Spider-Man. Oh, it's that Spider-Man. It's that Spider-Man. Oh my god. All the Spider-Mans. I know a lot of these Spider-Mans. I know this one. Oh, who's that one? Oh, that's a different Spider-Man. Oh, who's that Spider-Man? I want to know about that Spider-Man. That Spider-Man looks cool. Oh, there's, there's some Spider-Girls and there's some Spider-Womans. Spider-Woman, Spider-Girls, you know. Probably says Spider-Girl. Spider-Girl is a character, too. That's actually a real character. But yeah, that's so many, so many Easter eggs. There's a lot of Easter eggs to catch here, but uh, the story is great. I think the story was amazing. This movie is over two hours, and I was just, um, it's like, there's a part in the movie, it does get a little bit slow for me, a little bit slow, but at the same time, I'm still invested, because I think it's just the animation, everything about the animation, I'm just like, Staring at everything else. I'm also just still looking around at the environment with the, each shot. The, you know, like, the shot. Oh, I'm looking at each shot they have in there. Like, every camera angle. Whatever frame shot, whatever the terminology I'm going off. But I'm just looking around, just looking at the background. Just like, wow, what's going on there? Wow, look at that. That looks cool. What is that? Oh. And of course. Oh, look, it's that Spider-Man. Oh, my God, another Spider-Man. What's up? Who was that guy? But, um, the comedy in here was good. I like the comedy. It's very Sp Spider-Man kind of comedy, you know. He's always, it's always monologue. Some kind of monologue in there. And it's like a pretty funny monologue at some parts. 
or it just sounds ridiculous, but I think that was the idea. But, um, yeah, there's so much going on in this movie. But at the same time, it feels, um, the story wasn't that confusing to me, which is good. And I gotta say, this, for a movie about the multiverse, did, this movie did so much better than Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. And I actually do like that, but I like it just, I like it enough. Multiverse of Madness, but not enough to say, oh, I loved it, I just liked it. They just liked it for the action scenes. The plot was okay, but yeah, there wasn't enough multiverse in there. But that's what I liked about this one, is that we got to see other other multiverses. You'll get to see that in this, in the way it's portrayed. It's like, you don't get to see like, uh, like in Multiverse of Madness, they just show like little glimpses of each one. And this one, I'll say, without spoiling, you get to see actual moments in the multiverse, at least. Well, um, and in some scenes, but at least you get to see moments in there. Because in Multiverse of Madness, it just felt like you got to see, like, just glimpses of it, like, pics or anything, and then, and then, like, what, um, a good majority of the movie was in only in one universe, or two, and it just, like, you get to see much after that, because you wanted to see more multiverse, but in this one, you get to see a good, a good amount, I'll say. What else can I say about this movie? Yeah, it's great. It was great. The voice acting was great, too. I really like the voice acting. I had to look up who was who in this movie, and I was just surprised about who voices who. I'm not going to say, because I feel like sometimes, sometimes I think, I have this thought that sometimes if you know who a voice, who's voicing a certain character in a movie, it kind of, maybe it takes away the illusion. Maybe that's just me. It takes away the illusion of who's voicing the character. Versus. Sometimes I don't want to know who it is, and I just let it go. But uh, the voice acting was pretty good. It was good. It was good. What else? That's great. Yeah, the action scenes were good, too. The action scenes were great. Was there... How many action scenes were in this? There was enough action scenes. Maybe I wish there was a little bit more. I kind of wish there was more... Uh, of Miles fighting other villains. There were, but I wish there was a little bit more, but, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I need to watch this again, I'll say that. I would definitely watch this again. I give this an absolute, an absolute great movie. It was a great movie. It's, it's absolutely a great movie. I loved it. I loved it so much. I loved it just as much as uh, Into the Spider-Verse, actually. And there's something about Into the Spider-Verse that has something to do with Across the Spider-Verse where this is why I, where I think the writing is great. Like the smallest detail, detail really creates a whole plot for this movie. You know, It's like they've been planning this for a while. It was well thought out. This movie was well thought out. But yeah, this movie is awesome. It was great. So yeah, I give this an absolute, an absolute watch. I'm definitely gonna see it again. So yeah, for whoever was stopping by, anyone, if YouTube, if you're watching this YouTube, you better be watching this YouTube, huh? Watching you YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, if anyone's watched this, if you liked this review, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking it out. All right, you guys, whoever's watching. Have a good night. Have a good day. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm always quoting Truman. I'm always quoting that movie. I love that movie. I just always love that quote, too. Okay, so I don't see it. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. But yeah. Yeah, have a... Just be swell. Have a swell day. See you around.